Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another story time video, whoop whoop! I would like to thank each and every one of you again like I always do in all my videos, you know, because without you guys I wouldn't have this channel. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. And uh, in other news, you know, um, I'm going to try to release videos as much as I can. I can't promise anything though. Because, I mean, with my schedule and with everything that's going, I still have a job and whatnot. So, I'll try to post as many videos as I can a day. I'm aiming for one to two, but if that doesn't work, then, you know, whatever. And the story time videos, uh, I'm running out of stories to tell. I have a lot of stories, but, like, as of recently, I don't. Uh, but, you know, for past stories, you know, I have a ton of them but I also want to do some other stuff so I'm gonna start playing new games and all this other stuff plus League of Legends is really ticking me off it's been really really bad lately so I'm gonna change it up a little bit but anyway let's get into the story so in today's story I'll be talking about a time that I was pulled over and usually you know getting pulled over it's whatever you know you get a ticket or you don't get a ticket and you know you're off on your way well, in this story, I was actually dropping my one of my brothers off at his girl, well, his past girlfriend's house, and um, we were driving there. We dropped him off, you know, made sure everything was okay and whatnot, and then we left. And on our way back, it was me, my old friend Haru, and his girlfriend and my brother Zach. Well, my brother was sitting in the back. Haru was in the front and uh, Haru's girlfriend was in the back as well and we were all just talking jamming out to some three days grace you know just you know normal kid things and out of nowhere I hear the sirens and whatnot so I'm like oh crap so I pulled over and he pulls over right behind me well, I didn't realize at the time that my brother was sitting in the back, you know, asleep. And, you know, usually it's not that bad, you know. If somebody's asleep in the car, it's whatever, you know. But uh, what happens next kind of uh, catches me off guard. And the cop comes up and, you know, he asked me for my license and registration and whatnot. And so I handed it to him and yeah, we exchanged talk back and forth while he was trying to get cards off of everybody else in the car and when he gets to my brother my brother is asleep all right mind you Zach has autism so he doesn't really understand like the way he acts or does things you know can put people on like question him and whatnot well uh he's sleeping in the back he has his shirt off it's a hot day I guess I I can't remember I just remember this story because you know my mom brought it up the other day. But uh, he's sleeping in the back of the car with his shirt tied around his head. And he has his phone, his earphones in blasting music. And at first, you know, it's like for me, I knew what was wrong. I, I mean, it was hot and he was tired and whatnot. But to the cop, it kind of looked a little bit suspicious. And he's like, what's wrong with him? And I looked back and I said, oh, he's just sleeping. You know, we had a long car ride home and we just dropped my brother off and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, okay, well, wait a second and we'll be right back. Well, they, well he comes back and his partner gets out of the car with him. And he's like... So we're going to have to ask you to step out of the vehicle. And I asked him why. And he's, well, Haru at the time didn't tell me he had a record with the police. And it wasn't him, though. It was one of his old friends. And his friend had drugs on him, like possession and whatnot. And so he got charged with it and a whole bunch of crap. Well, they thought my brother was on drugs. So they pull us out of the car and they're asking us all these questions. My brother is half asleep. He doesn't know what's going on. He's freaking out and whatnot. And I finally, I, I've been trying to explain to the cop that he has autism. And finally, you know, 
my mom comes up and she explains everything and the cop is like, oh, okay, well, you know, we're sorry for not believing you and we're sorry for, you know, wasting your time and whatnot. So my mom leaves and everybody's getting back in the car and the cop and I are talking a little bit. He's like, hey, look, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, we really have to be on guard with this type of stuff. And yeah, you know, and I said, yeah, I understand that officer. No worries. And he's like, you know, for the misunderstanding, I won't give you a ticket. It'll just be a warning and you could be off on your way. And so, you know, yeah, we left and you know, that was a pretty exciting experience because I've never been pulled over and asked to be stepped out of the vehicle. You know, I've only seen that in movies at the time and you know, it was pretty scary <laughs> but exciting and fun and enjoyable and a very good learning experience because you know if that never happened I would not you know have learned not to let people sleep in the back of the car with a shirt tied to their head and earphones blaring and whatnot <laughs> but anyway thank you guys again for watching and please hit that like and subscribe you know, because the likes and subscribes, like I always say, help a lot, and you guys help a lot, and you know, we're, we're a team. We are one big team, and I love this team. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next Storytime video. Whoop, whoop.